And then the other thing, of course, is having big personalities within the sport. So love him or hate him, um, uh, Gordon Ryan has been great for the sport because he's uh, he's very well known outside of the sport. So people come to watch him in the sport. Right. Uh, another great example is Craig Jones, um, who's getting more and more popular, who has kind of completely pivoted. Craig Jones... <laughs> I was talking <laughs> earlier in uh, I was talking earlier in the episode about how important it is to look at yourself as a brand. Yeah. Craig Jones's recent uh, last year, year and a half, two years, he's completely pivoted his entire brand. He's always been quite uh, humorous and lighthearted, but he's completely he's realized that that there's way more money in basically being entertaining. Yeah. and <clears throat> creating content that's entertaining and being funny than there is actually going and winning tournaments. So you see Craig now is not competing as seriously as he was three or four years ago, but is a way bigger name and people are way more interested in him. And mm -hmm. yes, you can't... Young, younger grappers who are up-and-coming grapplers who are listening to this, you can't be Craig Jones because he's a very unique individual. He's very funny. He's got the perfect personality here. And you can't necessarily do that, but it's the concept of trying to build your brand outside of just what you're doing on the competition stage. But there's something that... And, and then you've got to back it up I, with the competition stage, right? So that's exactly what I was yeah. going to say. Is that, and I think something that I hold you to as well is like, you know, you can put out incredible content about a strength and conditioning and grip training, and you can uh, be funny and you can host stuff. But at the end of the day, when you boil it down... Both you and Craig Jones are accomplished world-class competitors who competed and excelled on the highest stages that are, exist. So you can't put the chariot before the horse in these instances. Yeah. And I think that that's going to be something that you see a lot of up-and-comers struggle with is like, when is too soon to lean into who you really are uh, and forego the accomplishment? Because that's soon. a really important part. You think they you should go, do, it do it sooner. You can do them both. Straight away. Because because you get better at anything that you practice. 